topic of education, um, you went to Columbia to do an MBA. How useful did you find your MBA when you started out your career? Well, it really opened my mind to business. I was a little kid coming out of a um, sort of tough neighborhood in eastern Paris um, with very little understanding of, you know, modern finance and just being in New York already, second best city after London. Um, <laughs> I mean, we're in Oxford, I know, maybe third best after Oxford, London. <laughs> um, but just being there, um, of course, this was the early 80s. Where the economy was just recovering from um, hyperinflation. Uh, these were the Volcker years of, you, know, you could get 17 or 18% um, yield on a, opening a bank account, a savings account. So the Fed was tightening up, basically, the uh, monetary environment to bring down inflation. And so these were really traumatic years, but 83, 84, the economy started recovering. And then we went for 85, 86, massive expansion of government debt. So in terms of a, a lesson in terms of how the, the financial environment works, it was a very interesting one. Uh, but for me, it really opened up. I grew up in a country that never was quite concerned or focused on capitalism or financing um, entrepreneurs or financing at all. Um, it was a country where the state reigns supreme and takes care of everything, a different economic model. It was a real eye-opener. Um, I think you don't have to make that choice anymore. I think um, the question has been asked. I think the models uh, that relied heavily or essentially on state decisions, centralized, what I call in my mind the post-medieval architecture of, of European uh, uh, societies where a small number of people, usually linked to the state, make all the decisions. Who gets the money? You know, who gets the investments? And, you know, labor market, distribution of finance regulation, rather than an open economy where millions of actors actually make those decisions. Uh, but for me, New York, at the time, coming out of a tough uh, suburb in eastern Paris, I grew up in a sink estate, which um, was an experience by itself. By the way, I'd like to mention the um, potential source of innovation and entrepreneurial spirit at its highest today, I find in sink estates and tough neighborhoods in the big urban conurbation that, that Europe fosters. Go to East London, and it's not sometimes applied to the most legal activities, but the resourcefulness and entrepreneurial spirit here is a, a resource that we're not leverage enough. So a lot of new businesses will come out of you know, biotech, tech research, and um, from, from very, very uh, well-trained heads such as yourselves, because you've had the opportunity to study advanced technology, to study, you know, new ways to uh, offer healthcare solution. But around services, the potential, the uh, untapped potential for innovative thinking and, and entrepreneurial spirit in the poorest part of society, particularly amongst the young generation, that are growing up in the single states is, is just unbelievable, amazing. If we could tap it, those of you who might know who have activities in the charity sector may have heard of a charitable organization called the Prince's Trust, which helps these uh, young minds who often have left school, have had problems with the justice system, doing drugs, or have just lost their way at an early age, have no self-confidence, no self-respect, and not getting much in any case. It takes these youngsters, teenagers, um, help them reset their lives, and then put them on the path of setting up a business, creating an enterprise. So they go from a situation of low self-worth to being responsible for someone else. Transformational experience. 65,000 businesses in the last 25 years have been created in the UK United Kingdom by the Prince's Trust. So if you're thinking accelerators, you can, you know, going into the entrepreneurial, I'll say some of you, if you're risk-loving, feeling a bit adventurous, look at tough neighborhoods in Europe. There's a lot of pent-up entrepreneurial spirit and guts.